Hey guys, we have the Lenovo Duet Chromebook here and this review is after one year of usage. So let's get right into it. So first of all, you can see that it's a two-in-one. Obviously it's a tab and it's running on an ARM chip. Obviously because it's a tab factor and there's no fan and all. So it is a bit low powered compared to the normal Chromebooks. But the thing is that it's a two-in-one. You can carry as a tab and use it as a laptop, carry it as a tab. So that makes it more uh, usable for various factors like students and stuff like that. So first of all, let's see the specs of this tab. It's not very crazy and all. It, has, it just has a MediaTek Helio P60T, which is a starting range entry level processor so it is not that um, performance friendly you can't play apex legends and stuff like this on this and i'm not talking about the pc one i'm talking about the apex legends you get in the play store because it has a play store in it so you can download apps and use those google apps which is an advantage for this other than that it has a 4gb ram which is decent for whatever work you're doing and browsing um, and then it has a 1080p a 10 inch screen uh, which is decent you can use it for entertainment watching entertainment and the thing is that it has a stereo speaker here and here which is decent quality obviously you can't get a flagship range or high range uh, quality of a display or a, a speaker because it's a 25k uh, model and yeah as of that it's fine. You can use it for browsing and entertainment, which is good enough. The thing is that the keyboard is not that good. It is quite small and the trackpad is also small and it's not responsive. The thing is that sometimes I type in the keyboard, the letter gets typed twice. I just click it once and it, it just takes it as twice clicked on the system. So. That's the bug which they need to fix, but I don't think it's the software problem, it's the hardware problem. So this keyboard is not reliable. Taking into account that it's a two-in-one, I wouldn't prefer this if you're buying a two-in-one. Anyways, in this range, there's no other two-in-one which can compete with this, to be honest, because this is like, was the best-selling Chromebook two-in-one at that range. So guys, this device has a 128 gigs of a storage, so which is decent because for studies and other stuff, you won't need much of storage. So which is plenty for this device. And another thing is that the battery life is very good in this. It has a 7000 mAh battery, which would last for like six to eight hours of usage. But the thing is that the charging speed is super slow. It's just 10 watts. So it takes a lot of time to charge. So that's the disadvantage of this. I don't know why they literally just restrict it to 10 words of charging when they have C type. And the thing is that if you're using this as an, a two in one, you might want to have multiple ports, but this has only one C type port and no headphone jack itself. So you need to get a c-type to headphone jack converter but the good thing is that it's already included in the box so which is good but still i bet they had plenty of space to put that headphone jack but they didn't put it that's a bit disappointing and one more thing if you want to connect like a pen drive or something like that extra i would suggest you to buy a hub like this which is for around one or two k in india which you can buy and connect. There's multiple ports like SD card slot, uh, eight, USB A type, C type, and it said this also supports charging through this, but when I connected it, it didn't charge. I don't know whether it's a defect of this or is it the port not supporting to get charged while using other peripherals connected to this. So that's another thing you need to think while buying this hub. So let's talk about the Play Store. 
so this has the play store built in and it has an arm processor so it can run all the games but that's not the case the processor is not that powerful so it's not supporting minecraft itself it doesn't show the availability of minecraft in the play store i guess this can support minecraft but it's it's just not there plain not there and one more thing is that it doesn't have apex legends or cod or any other uh, fps shooting games i guess you can only run a decent light games like clash of clans subway surfers these are the og games subway surfers angry birds and stuff like that asphalt 8 is there and stuff like that can be run and all the basic apps like instagram youtube and many other apps like this are supported in this so that's a good point and one more thing guys if you are into coding but light coding you can do it in this while uh, enabling linux development environment downloading the soft software as you want in that because this is chrome os made up of linux so you can run those apps so we have actually installed um, visual studio code here using that and here's a python code python language programming language code and it can be easily executed here and here's the output so this if you are uh, planning to buy for light coding track this is very portable of a laptop if you can say if it's a laptop so if you're having going into light coding and stuff like that for your if studies and stuff you this will be uh, useful but the thing is that it is not that powerful and the storage is less if you want to go into full coding then this is not the choice at all you need to get a good pc for that and so guys uh, this is a big note it's a note so you need to watch out for this is 2 years old it got released i mean the release date is 2021 jan jan of 2021 was the release date of this device 2 years are gone by and there's a new model called lenovo duo 3 but it's a bit more costly but it's way better if you have the budget you can go for that but it's still not there in india as of when i checked but if it's there and you have the budget you can go for that which is way better than this considering the support this gets it has 8 years of support i checked the website it said uh, till june 2028 there'll be updates for this so which is a good thing so if you buy it now you have five more years of support but that's not the only factor you can take into account because there are other tablets if you're buying a tablet tablets there are more tablets at this range which have a better uh, better processing and stuff like that but those are androids usually like samsung and xiaomi this laptop with the snapdragon 888 chip so you need to consider that while buying this you should research more just going with this right now i don't think is a good option but as a whole this device is nice if you haven't seen the unboxing video of this tab you can check it out here thanks for watching and see you in the next video